All right, hello everybody. Back again to check on the packages that we installed. It was about 10 days ago. We probably should have been back here a couple of days ago, but schedule and weather hasn't permitted. I'm here today with friend and Kobe keeper, Mark Dykes. Mark is from the University of Maryland Extension V-Squad. Um, in my goal of focusing on Maryland and, and folks being able to keep their bees alive, I want to provide all the resources that are possible. So Mark is here today to help with one big part of that, which is going to be treating with oxalic dribble, drizzle, however you want to word it. So he's going to show us that. Um, right before that, I'm going to go through and make sure all our queens are out and going. Uh, quick reminder, this was installed on 100% foundation. This one was on 100% drawn comb. And the third one was drawn comb with two frames of brood installed. So with that, I'm going to jump right into it. All I want to do is see if there's eggs or anything going. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to get out and turn it over to Mark. So this is our first one. Jacob, come on over here and get close. So looking down before I disturb them, they have taken out all their feed that was filled. And you see how many frames of bees we have here with uh, pure foundation, which is you know, just basically three, three and a half maybe. For the sake of not wanting to crush any bees and take care, we'll get an outside frame out. I'm going to go right into the middle of it gently. It's cool out today. We don't want to be spending any more extra time than we have to. The queen frame is here. I see the, the cage that we installed with a rubber band last time. So there's your cage. You can very easily see that that's empty. And we can see here, and this is what I talked about being a little bit late. They've already got a little bit of sealed brood, so she obviously came out and started laying immediately. If you can get down there as close as you can, Jay. So you can see the Younger larva, older larva, sealed brood. So we'll take the queen cage out. And like I said, and I give this advice to everybody, when you have a new package and a young queen, get in, get out, no sightseeing. So we're gonna call that done. And I will go on to the next hive. I'm just gonna put the lid back on here real quick so they keep heat in it until Mark comes back to tree. We will also refill the feeders and put a pollen patty on, but we probably won't delay the video doing all that work. All right, so this is our uh, all drawn comb. They've eaten most of their pollen sub. You can see right here, queen cage again is empty. And if we'd have been back here earlier and done this, we wouldn't have had that uh, messy fur comb there. I'll turn that that way. So not too many bees on that one. All right, so Jay, if you can zoom in on there, they've cleaned this frame up nicely. They have um, syrup stored. And if you can get down in there, you can see eggs and just starting to uh, get a little bit of milk food there. And that's an outside frame. Getting into where the queen was and same as the last frame. So, older larva, sealed brood, she's in good shape. I'm gonna take this queen cage out. Another day when I wanna cause problems, I will clean up all that extra comb that's there, but I'm not gonna do that today. <coughs> Just put this back in, leave them alone. Right, Jay, if you wanna pause, we'll go to the next one. All right, so hive number three, this one was installed with two frames of brood and as you can see we got bees working oh I guess what is it eight frames so again we'll start outside Get that out of the way the queen cage I just saw is right there so we'll go right to that frame in the same vein of get in get out immediately see that she's been released successfully so if we see some young brood from her, we can also call this one done. Mark, what do you think? Looks good. A yeah, bunch, of, bunch of young milk brood right in through there, older as it gets to the center. So they're good, Queensland. 
All right, Mr. Mark. The show is now going to be yours. You just tell me what you want me to do over here. So now what we're going to do is mix up some oxalic acid for a dribble. Uh, this is a method that's approved for little to no brood in the colonies, which these qualify as. Um, Jason's going to mix it up while I kind of go through the the uh, method. We have a printed out a little cheat guide. This is something that the bottom section you can find in the Honeybee Health Coalition guide. The top is just my quick notations to make it a little bit easier to go over. We have this on our uh, website, B Squad. Uh, sorry, umdbsquad.com, which Jason will put into the links. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is do a half batch. And so instead of 2.3 tablespoons or 35 grams of, in the one liter of one-to-one -one sugar syrup, we're going to do half a liter. So Jason's going to measure out half a liter. And then we pre-measured the oxalic acid. So this cup is exactly one liter. And Jacob, as he treats these, we want to feed them. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And so you're going to mix the oxalic in. Yep. And then stir it around real good. I'm going to try to get as many of those chunks out as possible. Okay. And since I'm one armed now, Jason's going to help me by filling up the syringe. You don't have to use a syringe, you can use a uh, teaspoon if you want. A uh, syringe is gonna be a little bit easier to apply it. You can get these at uh, farm supplies. Uh, if you go to your pharmacy, they should be able to provide you one. Uh, just make sure it goes at, at minimum five milliliters. Um, maximum, really, you don't need anything above about 50. And I should absolutely be wearing nitrile gloves. Yeah. We didn't have any, we needed to get this done. So do as we say, not as we do. <laughs> We got most of the lumps out. Is that enough? Or do I need to keep going? Yeah, that looks good. And this was cold syrup. This yeah. is not warm. So. Yeah, it should go into solution pretty easily. All right. If you wouldn't mind filling that for me. All right. <clears throat> going all the way to 50? Or... Um, you can do all the way to 50 if you want. Do whatever, whatever boss man tells me. Yeah. So we got it roughly to that. Okay. What we're going to do is, is dole it out in uh, five milliliter increments. And yeah. so we're going to start on the big yeah, hive down here since it's here. mostly open. <coughs> and what we're wanting to look for are frames that are covered in bees. So if you look down here, if you see each one of these, there's bees crawling between them. And so those are the frames we're going to focus on. So what I'm going to have Jason do is put five milliliters, kind of sprinkle it in between the frames covering the bees. Doing it from this one all the way back there. So five milliliters is about half of one of them. Okay. Yeah. Just like that. And go ahead and do that last one. There's nothing. Yeah, I was looking at that. I don't know if I can. Yeah. There's. Okay. I see what you mean. Yep. No, you're fine. I can just crack it over a little bit. All right, ladies. Here we come. <laughs> I think I got a little heavy handed on some of those. So I'll cover them back up and we'll come back and feed them later. So what we're gonna do is repeat this now with all the other hives. I'm gonna just do this at 25, that way I know I don't yeah, overdose them. Make it a little bit easier for you. I have never used this. And so this one's a little different, so we only have one, two, three complete and maybe a half of one on this side. So it'll be a little bit less than the, than the last one. So that would be what I want to shoot for about 15 milliliters. Then? Yeah, you want to do five milliliters for each right. each crevice there. Okay. It's funny how warm they are. I think I did it right based on what's left in the syringe. Yeah. So. Better there. How many frames was this one, Mark? And this one, same thing, one, two, three, and we'll call that four right there. So about 20 then. Yeah. Well, I can use it all up. Whoops, missed there. Okay. There we go. We can cover it back up. And it's that easy to, to treat with oxalic acid. So real easy thing to do. Nice way to clean up your uh, mite loads. 
Uh, if you have questions on this, you can, like I said, go to the Honeybee Health Coalition. We have both the guide and we actually have other videos as well about applying both oxalic acid and other treatments as well. So all the information you can ever need to, to know about finding um, how to treat for mites, we've got it on our website. So definitely check it out. Okay. Thanks, well, Jason, for having us out here. Thank you for coming out. My pleasure. Hope it helps. All right. Thanks, Jay.